Metal Gear, a fearsome fictional weapon that threatens the world with nuclear holocaust, serves as both the basis and the title for one of the most celebrated franchises in interactive entertainment. The creation of director Hideo Kojima, the Metal Gear saga spans five groundbreaking games and a series of spin-offs that have combined to sell tens of millions of copies worldwide. Since its debut in 1987, the Metal Gear story has spawned a rich and unforgettable world full of fascinating characters, epic conflicts, and futuristic themes. But as Kojima and his team began preparations for the third game in the Metal Gear Solid series, Snake Eater, the clock was turned back in time, giving gamers a glimpse into this saga's genesis. Released in North America and Japan for the PlayStation 2 console in 2004, and in Europe the following year, Snake Eater was met with enormous commercial and critical acclaim. Critics and fans alike applauded the game for its unique survival-based gameplay, stunning visuals, and powerful narrative. Set in the jungles of Russia, Snake Eater reveals a formative chapter in the life of Big Boss, father and later foe of series protagonist Solid Snake. The year is 1964, and international spies have replaced infantry soldiers on the invisible battlefield known as the Cold War. In an 11th hour agreement between the United States and the Soviet Union, the U.S. government, hoping to abate the Cuban Missile Crisis, negotiates the return of Soviet scientist Nikolai Sokolov to the communist bloc. Crucial to shifting the tides of the Cold War, Sokolov is the target of a former Special Forces agent assigned to bring him back to American soil. That agent, a Green Beret named Jack, is codenamed Naked Snake. As with every installment in the series, Kojima populated Snake Eater with a colorful cast of characters. While the early appearance of the treacherous Revolver Ocelot was sure to please fans, no character played a more pivotal part in Jack's story than his mentor, the boss. This mysterious woman warrior symbolized one of Snake Eater's most essential themes, maternity. It's through this mother-son relationship that Snake Eater's narrative shifts from a straightforward 60s-style spy caper into an intricate tale of love, loyalty, and the call of the mission. But defining the unusual relationship between Jack and the boss would prove to be a challenge. え、出したまま、要はその母乳をあげる母親のように、そういうイメージで出したまま戦うっていう、そういう設定でしたね。え、最初の時は、え、この胸のところに、え、蛇の入れ墨があって、銃を撃つとこう入れますよね。で、入れ
Although the original Metal Gear was the first game released in the long-running series, its narrative picks up where the events of Snake Eater leave off. Delving deeper into the troubled life of Jack, known then simply as Big Boss. A young Hideo Kojima found himself creating the first Metal Gear on assignment from Konami Management. He was asked to create a combat-driven game, not for the new and powerful NES console, but for the MSX2 home computer, a system with a much smaller user base than Nintendo's popular platform. プレイヤーと敵でこう打ち合いしながら進むっていうほぼ不可能だったんですけども、不可能であれば同士たらいいかということで、敵が三人しかいなくても、まあ戦争ゲームと言いますかそのコンバットゲームのような世界をですね表現
was with Metal Gear 2 that the saga took a drastic and ultimately unofficial turn, beginning with a follow-up to the original NES game. で、予定で違う曲を考えてたんですけども、まあ、それを聞いて、で、勝手に頭の中で脳みそがぐるぐる回ってですね。え、いつまでに企画が出来上がってしまったということで、次の日に会社に新しい拡張を出して作ったのがメタ
accompanied by important new additions to the growing Metal Gear pantheon. Meryl Silverberg, a rookie U.S. operative, and loyal computer programmer Otacon. あのー、まあこのゲーム当時のゲームユーザーってほぼオタクと言われてた時代なんです今はライトユーザーが多いですけども、あのー、それをまあ卑下するわけじゃなくて、まあ、ある種オタクも知識を武器にして人の役に立てるっていうことをまあみんなに伝えたかったしゲームファンっていうことをもっと誇りを持ってほしいっていうのがあってそのオタコンというキャラを作ったんですよね。で彼だけが銃を取らずに、えー、自分の知識と、えーまあ、いろんなアイテムとかを使って戦っている人なので僕は非常に好きなキャラクターですね。With its cinematic visuals and full voiceover presentation, Metal Gear Solid expanded the franchise's breadth and depth. Solid Snake's quest to topple Metal Gear Rex and defeat his brother spins a storyline touching on many serious topics, including nuclear proliferation, cloning, and this essential message from director Hideo Kojima. まあ、ソリッドシリーズはその、まあ、親から子に何を伝えるかっていう次世代に伝えるものっていうのが大きなテーマなんですけども、まあ、最初の時は一番分かりやすいものは何かっていうとその遺伝子ですよねやっぱ遺伝子を残すために、えー、生殖活動があって、えー、こう育ててっていうのがそういう輪廻が繰り返されるので、まあ、そこにスポットを当ててあらゆるキャラクターとかストーリーとか伏線をその遺伝子という一点に集中させるような作り方をしました。簡単に言うとですね、えー、例えば、えー、ちょっと太った子がいてですね自分の両親は運動ができないから自分もできないと思,う思い込んでると、まあ、そうなのかもしれませんけどそうじゃないかもしれないんでそういう子がメタルギアをやった時に、えー、まあ明日運動会でずる休みしようと思ってた子が明日ちょっと走って頑張ってみようかなというそういうことをでも思ってくれたらっていうのでまあそういう願いを込めてですねメタルを作ったということです。Metal Gear Solid would become one of the best selling, most highly revered games in history. Inspired and empowered by the international success of the first Metal Gear Solid, Hideo Kojima and his team went straight to work on a sequel for the PlayStation 2, the next generation hardware that would power the next evolution of the Metal Gear saga. Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. Metal Gear Solid 1 was published in the world, in the world, in the world, in the world. 想像以上にというか思いもしなかったんですけど大ヒットしまして、えー、非常に嬉しかったんですけどもあの続編を望む声が、まあ、どこからも聞こえてきてですね当然作らないといけないということで、まあ、最初は全くワンで完結して違うものを作ろうと思ってましたけどもこれはまあ逃げられないぞということで、まあ、2を企画して作ろうと思いました、ね。In the years following the events of Shadow Moses, Solid Snake has once again gone underground, this time accompanied by Otacon. Together, they have formed Philanthropy, a UN sanctioned anti Metal Gear watchdog group. The two resurface in late 2007, acting on a tip that a military tanker passing through New York City is transporting Metal Gear Ray. The next evolution in Metal Gear technology being developed by the U.S. Marines. Unfortunately for philanthropy and the rest of the international community, Metal Gear Ray is hijacked by Ocelot, while Solid Snake disappears into the Hudson River along with the sinking ship. I was preparing the plot for the first time. It was a story of Iran and Iraq, but there was a nuclear weapon. メタルギアがあるらしいということで、で、査察に行こうとするんですけど、どうも見せてくれないので、で、そこで緊張状態があって、で、対メタルギア兵器というのを積んだ空母艦隊が作って、まあ、何十時間以内に査察をさせてくれないと、担当でもないことになるという状況で、その艦隊がリキッド軍に乗っ取られるという、そのような話だったと思います。ただ、あの、
半年ぐらいしてというかねあの実際にそういう状況が起こってしまいまして、えーまあ、これはちょっとこう作れないなということで、えー、プロットを改定して、まあ、そのできたのが2なんですけども2のタンカー編というのはそのちょっと名残になります。It's after the hijacking of this tanker that Solid Snake slips out of sight. And the first chapter of Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty comes to a close. The story resumes in 2009, with Snake infiltrating an offshore plant rumored to house the stolen Metal Gear Ray. But Kojima had a big surprise planned for the many fans of the series. When Snake's diving mask comes off, The true lead player in Sons of Liberty is revealed. His code name, Raiden. One no doki, the monitor check to the tozen, she must be, Shagai no stoic by on the desk. Metal gear, Fudan Kawana, you know, by Kitamarate, Jose no Katamas, Yatimura, the son of Anke Tonyo, the Dosur Katin of Kimina, the game of Scott Taking the Skedomo, Aru, Josh Chugak Segas, Pressimaste, Janke to Yoshi, the Sne. いいろろ書いてもらうんですけど、ね、もうこんな親父ばっかり出てくるゲーム嫌やとしょうもないとこんな嫌やというのを書かれてますで一番最後にこのゲームが発売されたら買いますから絶対買わないっていうのがありまして<笑>あのチームにももうねだいぶ落ち込みましたもんどうしたらええなとしんちゃんとでだいぶ落ち込んでやっぱあれやな美形を出さなあかんなっていうことで、まあ、ユーザーのためをとためを思ってですね僕らはライデンという。With the introduction of the new lead character of Metal Gear Solid 2, the player, alongside young Raiden, is ushered into a new world, starring a diverse cast of characters, some old, some new. Solid Snake, calling himself Iroquois Pliskin, and partner Otacon reappear and aid Raiden throughout his first field assignment. Making his first appearance is Solidus Snake. Otherwise known as the President, George Sears, who joins Snake and Liquid as the third of the cloned sons of Big Boss. What ensues is an elaborate narrative that weaves in and out of reality, intertwining Raiden's fate with the experiences of the player. The game concludes with Raiden fighting a life or death battle against Solidus Snake and a host of Metal Gear Rays. Sons of Liberty would go on to sell millions of copies worldwide, fulfilling fans' elevated expectations for a sequel. The game has since become infamous for its enigmatic ending, leaving players with more questions than answers about their favorite characters. Since its release, gamers have sought the secrets behind the mysterious group, the Patriots, Vamp's apparent immortality, Olga's orphaned child. And the truth behind Ocelot's possessed arm. These questions, as well as the fate of Solid Snake, seemed destined to go left unanswered, as director Hideo Kojima was planning to retire from helming Metal Gear related projects. Rallied by his team and Metal Gear fans from around the world, Kojima has decided to return once more to the director's chair to tell the next and most likely final chapter in the story of Solid Snake. With Metal Gear Solid 4. えーとまあ、メタルギアソリッド三部作と言って、えー、ワン・ツー・スリーと来ましたけども、えー、ツーの後はどうなるんでしょうっていうのが非常にこう多く皆さんの意見でありましてでフォーはですね、えー、ツーで残った、えー、あらゆる謎いろんな小さな謎から大きな謎がありますけどもそれを全部解決するつもりで作っております。えー、方で全てが終わるような感じですねあの MGS サーガーがこれで終わるっていうような、えー、まあことを念頭に今作ってます。And when the Metal Gear Saga draws to an end, it will be on the PlayStation 3. Powered by next generation hardware, Metal Gear Solid 4 will push the limits of video game sound and vision and challenge gamers with its riveting brand of tactical espionage action. Metal Gear Solid 4 promises not only to be a momentous event in games, but the climax of the Metal Gear Saga as well. The character, the whole, more, 
、えー、3はやっぱ1960年代だったんで「オタコン」とか「メリル」とかで、まあ、出すことはできなかったんですけども今回「2の後なので、えー、その辺のですね今までのキャラクターが勢ぞろいと、えー、出せるだけ出すつもりでいますのでこの辺はぜひご期待くださいでまあ、今のところですけども今のところシナリオは入ってますねで、えー、今の現状報告で言いますと、まあ、愛国者たちとは何なのかとか、えー、オルガの子供とかですね、えー、バンプは何で死なないのかとか、えー、もしくはリキッドの腕をつけたらオセロットは何でリキッドになるねとかそんなアホなんていうようなことが、まあ、あるとは思うんですけどその辺は、えー、納得いくような形で、えー、今のところですねなってますね、まあ、最終的にどうなるかちょっとまだ分かりませんけどえー、まあということでまあ法で全て完結できるような体制で進みます。From the heroic origin of Big Boss in Snake Eater to the surprise debut of Raiden in Sons of Liberty, the Metal Gear series stretches across five original game titles and just as many decades of fictional history. The saga comes to a close with the sixth and final chapter in the story of Solid Snake. Metal Gear Solid 
Many doubted his existence. Most legends have their roots in myth. But Big Boss was the real deal. A true living legend. An official military dossier verifies his existence. In the 1960s, he helped invent close quarters combat, CQC. Then, ordered to covertly mend the growing rift between two global superpowers following the Cuban Missile Crisis, he slipped into the Soviet Union on a solo sneaking mission. The document claims that Big Boss prevented World War III, that he was the true patriot. This document detailed the entire affair. The military had revealed Big Boss's virtue to the world. The man I seek is his successor. The man I seek is Solid Snake. To maximize on its most valuable asset, the US military began experimenting with cloning in the 1970s. Dubbed Les Enfants Terribles, this project created a man nearly identical to Big Boss in physique, prowess, and potential. That man was Solid Snake. Born from the Pandora's box of human cloning, he was a second big boss. Original and facsimile, Big Boss and Solid Snake first met on the battlefield. In the early 1990s, Big Boss devised a plan to control all the world's wars. Thus, a mercenary dispatch company, Outer Heaven, was born. It was there that Big Boss began developing a new secret weapon, Metal Gear. A bipedal tank that could launch a nuclear attack from anywhere on Earth. The very existence of Outer Heaven threatened to upset the fragile balance of nuclear deterrence. The world's military powers responded and shortly thereafter sent a single man to infiltrate Outer Heaven and bring Big Boss down. That soldier, a rookie member of Foxhound, was Solid Snake. Defeated by Solid Snake, Big Boss fled to Zanzibar land to resume development of Metal Gear. Solid Snake returned to infiltrate Zanzibar land, kill Big Boss, and dismantle Metal Gear. And that's just what he did. Snake completed his mission without ever knowing Big Boss was his father, his genetic blueprint. No one told him he was Big Boss's clone. The Outer Heaven Uprising, the Zanzibar Land Riot, that's how history records these events. But history doesn't know that they were two chapters in a tragic tale of patricide. After eliminating Big Boss, Solid Snake was relieved of duty, retiring to Alaska, where he planned to live out his years in peace and solitude. But fate had other plans. A second clone of Big Boss appeared, Liquid Snake. Allow me to shed some light on the so-called Shadow Moses incident. The crisis that would make Solid Snake a hero to the world. It all began with an unprecedented crisis. The hijacking of a nuclear weapon. 
In 2005, the Special Forces Unit stationed in Alaska on the remote Shadow Moses Island staged a revolt. Their ringleaders were Liquid Snake and the new members of Foxhound. Taking hostages and securing the island's nuclear weapons disposal facility, they issued demands to the White House. At the top of their list, Pandora's box. The corpse of Big Boss. The military summoned Solid Snake, formerly of Foxhound, and ordered him to infiltrate the island alone. He unearthed a secret buried beneath the island's frozen snow-swept surface. A bipedal nuclear tank. Metal Gear Rex. Liquid had seized Rex while it was still under development by the US military. Once again, nuclear war threatened the world. The old foxhound battled the new. Solid grappled with Liquid, and finally, Rex itself. Even in death, their father, Big Boss, brought their fates inextricably together. Their careers, their combat experience, were nearly identical. Liquid was the yin to Solid's yang. Civilians and soldiers alike celebrated Solid Snake as a hero, while Liquid dirtied his hands executing classified black ops. Although he too was a son of Big Boss, Liquid was forced to hide in history's wings. Contempt for his fate only deepened his hatred for Solid Snake. Liquid sought the remains of Big Boss, his predecessor, in order to cure his diseased existence. The cursed twins, Solid and Liquid, were reunited as family in front of Metal Gear Rex, but certain powers did not approve. Those organizations conspired to hide the whole affair and brought the battle to an abrupt and unexpected end. Fate had separated the twins once more, seemingly for good. If these events seem deliberately staged, the players manipulated, then they expose a sinister mystery, one brought to light by Solid Snake's paper trail. A group seeking nothing short of global slavery, the Patriots. A surprise attack on United States soil, the Big Shell Incident, first made me aware of their presence. This incident began with terrorists hijacking an oil tanker on the Hudson River. led by Solid Snake. In response, the Navy sent Marines to the tanker to take back what was theirs. In the ensuing battle, the tanker sank, taking Snake along with it. The Hudson is still polluted with oil. They say it could take hundreds of years to disperse. Unbeknownst to the public, 
the stage had been set. Two years later, a cleanup facility, the Big Shell, was built. Crisis loomed again as the US president was touring the facility. Solid Snake, previously presumed dead, again led a terrorist unit, this time occupying the Big Shell with the president as their hostage. In response, the US military sent a rookie Foxhound agent into the Big Shell on a solo sneaking mission. His codename was Raiden. His mission had just barely commenced when he made a surprising discovery. Solid Snake. But this snake was no terrorist. Someone else was using his name. Framed as a criminal, Snake had infiltrated the Big Shell on his own, determined to expose and undermine the true terrorists. It was then revealed that the ringleader of the Big Shell hijacking wasn't Solid Snake. Rather, the man behind the attacks was none other than the third of Big Boss's sons, a perfect clone codenamed Solidus Snake. Raiden's early life as a child soldier was one orchestrated by Solidus Snake. Despite his tragic upbringing, one too common for hundreds of thousands of children today, Raiden was able to overcome his traumatic past as he faced his foster father in battle. Joining forces with Solid Snake, they cornered Solidus. With all other options exhausted, Solidus played his trump card, activating a titanic metal gear that had been disguised as the Big Shell, Arsenal Gear. The coordinates were set. Arsenal Gear was headed for New York City. Raising his voice with a mighty cry, Solidus was ultimately felled by Raiden's blade. But Raiden soon found he wasn't Solidus's true enemy. The third snake was in reality revolting against those who sought to control him, the Patriots. Having learned the truth, Raiden vanished into the streets of New York City, joining Solid Snake, the sole survivor of his line, in the hunt for the real enemy. But the mission for this snake was far from over. I first stumbled across the Patriots while tracking Solid Snake, learning of their true role as puppeteers tugging at America's strings. Now they're pursuing a new plan, extending their influence across the globe by taking total control of war. 
war has changed. ID tag soldiers carry ID tagged weapons and use ID tagged gear. Nano machines inside their bodies enhance and regulate their abilities. Everything is managed and controlled. Having killed his own kin, what remains for the sole surviving snake? His father's blood, his curse, eats away at it from the inside. What fate awaits this graying dog of war? His final mission is about to begin, and I will follow him until the bitter end.